I've got a number of us doing five minute pitches. At the end of this, we're all gonna come up and then field questions. So thanks for sticking around for this. Really excited to be presenting. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about bicycle to vehicle vulnerability mapping and some of the work that we're doing to make roads safer for cyclists. About two years ago, my company started working with Trek Bikes on a mission for safer roads for cyclists. And one of the first things that we realized around cyclist safety is that it really comes down to the car, not the bike. In a fender bender, the car always wins. And unlike technology that's available for cyclists, we wanted to focus on technology available for the automotive community. And for example, there's products that will take video recordings of what's happening while you're riding a bike, but a video of you getting run over still means you got run over. So not exactly what we're uh, looking for. Uh, my company works in the open source community and we license our application technologies as industry standards with specific tools for the automotive and tier one suppliers. In the last two years, we picked up some friends. So we work with just about every major bike manufacturer in the world, including the Pepsi and Coca-Cola of the bike industry, SRAM and Shimano. Pretty rare to see both those uh, groups on this, or both those companies on the same slide. We also work with two very large companies that you probably haven't heard of, Doral Sports and Excel Group, which make the uh, mass market bikes for Target, Walmart, and REI. So it's not just for the sports cyclists like myself, it's, it's really for people that are using a bicycle as their only form of transportation. There are two core areas of our research. The first is a wireless to vehicle communication system for a bicycle, and the second is mapping. So I, I couldn't get up here on stage in a mapping conference without at least showing some of the badass wireless stuff that we're doing. And this here is a video showing uh, a bicycle that's communicating with infrastructure. It's then sending out a communication message to an Audi production Q7 that then puts a notification up in the Audi to let the driver know that a cyclist is crossing up ahead. This is what uh, Dave Clifford from General Motors talked about in an earlier panel called vehicle to vehicle or V to V communication. I always make the joke that in Detroit, you can't get funded without an acronym. We actually had so many acronyms, we have uh, two whole pages of them just for our uh, submission process. So this is the wireless component and we're looking at uh, cellular V to X, uh, DSRC, and also Bluetooth as ways to communicate. For this crowd and, and for this conference, we, we wanted to talk about the second core project within bicycle vehicle safety. This is a vulnerability map based on known factors. The addressable opportunity size of the cyclists that are hit by cars, which is about 45,000 a year, and over 800 people were killed in the U.S. alone uh, with a cyclist vehicle collision, 30%, roughly 30% we would be able to address for vehicles for the routing and navigation systems, as well as informing the emergency braking systems and lane departure systems when a, when a vehicle is coming into a vulnerable location. So in other words, if you're coming up to a sharp corner where a cyclist is likely to be, that cyclist is vulnerable. If the vehicle can know that before the cameras and LIDAR can see around the corner, that one, there's likely to be a bicycle. Two, that cyclist is in a vulnerable spot, then the vehicle can do different things, like, for example, reducing speed. And the, the death zone goes above 35 miles an hour. That's when we see a sharp increase in death on collision. So we're using the objective metrics to work on research specific to cycling vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities we break up into four key areas. The first is road characteristics, which we're looking at OSM as kind of a base layer for that. The second is environmental. So this primarily is the sun. Any cyclists in the room? Okay. You know, you ever been riding down the road and you're looking at the sun and you realize cars behind you are looking at the sun and hopefully not at their phone at the same time? That's what we're talking about. So understanding when you're hitting cresting hills or coming around a bend and bam, you got sun in your face and you're hoping you're not going to get smoke from behind, that's a really important factor and it's a solvable problem. The third is the cyclist community. There's a lot of good technology out there. One I want to drop uh, or plug is Lane Spotter, which is in Techstars Mobility working on cyclist stress mapping. So using the community to know where they feel safe. But feeling safe, we believe, is different than being safe. So there's a gap between vulnerability and the stress. There's a lot of roads that we've seen that you feel safer than you actually are, and that's where we believe, and we're doing research to show this, where you're the most vulnerable, most vulnerable as a cyclist. Uh, last one's historical data, so getting heat mapping from some of our partners. Uh, for example, Wahoo has been uh, terrific. We're talking with Garmin and a number of others around getting the anonymous data of where cyclists typically ride so we can correlate the odds of seeing a cyclist with a vulnerability score. 
organizations have created algorithms around what makes a objective data of the road, what can convert that to vulnerability, and we've run some data modeling for this. In a five minute quick pitch, I can't show everything, but here's just a quick video of, of what we put together in downtown Detroit around different vulnerability scores. This was based on the Federal Highway U.S. Department of Transportation algorithm for lane characteristics, speed limits, and the uh, access of vehicles on roads. So the green are, are bicycle pathways only where there won't be. So this is kind of the basics of what we're building. And what I'd like to ask for today for, for you guys is just if you're in a conversation and you hear about bikes or bike safety, please come talk to us. We really want to be working in the open and share community. And uh, I'd be remiss without saying we, we are hiring. So if you're interested in getting involved uh, or have any friends that are, please reach out, jake at tomesoftware.com. Uh, I'll be holding or we'll be feeding, fielding questions at the end of uh, all of our presentations. So call up our next speaker, please.